Hey, welcome to Alex's Reviews. As you might know or might not, my name's Alex. Today we'll be talking about the book Alive by Pierce Paul Reed. Sometimes you'll see me look down at the book just in case. Looking at a book sometimes just helps me remember some things about it. Um, also, reads for the cat hat. My hair's a bit of a mess today, as you might notice. Uh, but anyway, so, as I said, the book Alive, it's actually a true story. True story, bro. Um, about a Uruguayan uh, rugby team, rugby team, they crash in the Andes Mountains, and when they crash, some people from the plane crash, they, a lot of them survived at first, but a lot of them were died or injured, and when they died, they buried them in the snow, a little bit away from the plane. Sorry, someone's at the door. Um, so anyway, and then they had a bit of food there on the plane, a little bit from before, but their main source of food was a bit of alcohol. They all tried to take a small amount as they could. It was just to keep hydrated, to drink something safe. Um, so if you see me look over there, it means someone's at the door. Uh, but anyway, and then they had bars of chocolates, lots of chocolate, and they tried to stick to eating as little as they could. Chocolate's also a really good source of calories that break down really easy in your body. A little fun fact to help you out if you're ever stuck in somewhere with chocolate. Try to ration it good, but remember, good source. Laughing over there. Uh, anyway, so they try to get signals, and they not cell phone signal because this was a while ago, but they try to get signals to other planes or anyone else in the area that they can. They try to get contact to try and save their lives, to have someone come save them because they're stuck up in the mountains, their plane's broken. Right now, they're, they used it for the shelter. They um, line it with snow to keep it insulated and warm on the inside. Um, so throughout the entire story, they're just trying to survive and trying to get home, trying to see their families. And as it's going on, people are dying from cold, lack of food. And eventually, they think they finally have a way home. Um, I believe they got a signal on a plane or something like that. But anyway, the help doesn't come. But while they think it is coming, they have a little mini celebration where they start drinking their alcohol more. Someone messes with the chocolate. I don't tell you how. Leave that for you to read. Um, anyway, and turns out since the help never shows up, they find out, oh my gosh, what'd someone do with our food? Uh, Why did this happen? So they had to turn to their last remaining food source, something that they personally didn't want to do. They had to eat the dead, their fallen friends, family who was ever on that plane. They had to decide to eat them to survive. A lot of people were against it for religious reasons, for human human reasons. And they ended up eating it to survive anyway. And as people were growing tired of just staying there, a group of them decided to go and try and find help. And if they do find help, I'll let you read to find out if they do. So anyway, book again, alive. Pierce Paul Reed. Um, I really like this book. It was exciting. It's a true story. Um, I wouldn't say that if you have a weak stomach, you should read this book because, again, they do eat their dead people. And it is a little bit hard to read sometimes for certain people if they're a little emotional or something like that. But anyway, really good book. If it sounds like it could be interesting to you, read it. It's a really good book. There's a movie about it, too. I'll see if I can post um, the name of the movie, too. It might be live. I'm not sure. I will check for you and put it on the channel or maybe in the comments bar for this. All right. Well, thank you. And if you have any suggestions for future books, how I can make my videos better, any questions about the books, or just want to talk, message me, comment. I'll read them. Thank you. Oh, and try to forward this and suggest this to your friends if, they, if you think this would be a good book for them or if you just think they'd enjoy the channel. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.